Oh, man, I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Well, before I do, I gotta listen to that podcast I was listening to. <sighs> Huge fan of yours, and by that, of course, oh. I mean because of your Ice Age movies and TV yes. shows. Yes, I'm so happy to hear that. He's We're about to do Ice Age 6. What the f*** did John just say? Hold on, I need to listen to that again. Okay, replay here. Okay, let's listen to this. Ice Age movies and TV yes. shows. I'm so happy to hear that. He's, he's, We're about to do Ice Age 6. 6. 6. <laughs> Screw sleep, I need to get this video done. Hey gang, so we can thank our corporate overlords for this. Because, um, we're getting Ice Age 6. Well, who the hell asked for this? Like, it definitely wasn't me. D definitely this time. Because, uh, you know, I'm 18 now. Uh, going on 19, because it's my birthday next month, by the way. I'll be 19. Um, um, okay, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a mature person, and we remember the last time we had Ice Age content, which, not being Scrat Tales, Buck Wild was mid- Kind of bad now if I think about it, but oh, uh, dude, a sixth movie. Oh lord, oh lord, this is not good. This is far from good. So, people are gonna ask, why is this happening? Okay, I can clarify two reasons. One, the Ice Age franchise is worth billions. Yes, for those wondering, all five movies combined made $3.2 billion at the box office. All thanks to Blue Sky, because, you know, they're the best. So, it's obvious because it makes a lot of money. And also, 2022 was an experimental year for Ice Age. Not only was it its 20th anniversary, but also, it also released the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild, which, again, as I just said, is pretty bad. And the peakness that is Scrat Tales. Seriously, whoever hasn't watched it, please go see it. It's actually really good. It's on Disney Plus. It's only 20 minutes. Just watch it, please. It's so peak. I, I like I use it for memes all the time. It's really funny. And two, the second reason, it's following the Toy Story 5 and Shrek 5 hype. And also just Minions 3. I was almost about to say Despicable Me 5, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. It probably will get confirmed. But yes. These two movies are the prime sources for why this is happening. Now, people could ask, is this going to Disney Plus? Okay, let's just think about this for a second. John Lequizimo said he's announced this. That is pretty good news if you are, you know, a fan of the series like me. Because that means it has a big budget. And when it has a big budget, that means one thing. Theatrical release. Again, I could be wrong. I could go straight to Disney Plus and Disney could go, ha ha ha, you're not getting this in theaters. But uh, yeah, this might be a theatrical release. And you know who might be releasing it? 20th Century Studios. Now, why am I making this optimistic? Well, if people haven't seen their last few movies, like Alien Romulus, Deadpool, Wolverine, which no, I will not watch because I don't support MCU, and also Prey, and Planet of the Apes, you might have noticed they were good continuations of dead franchises. Like, I'm a fan of Alien, by the way. Th that's a really good series. And I was like, yeah, it's dead in the water since Covenant. Then I seen this in IMAX, and I will say, movie of the damn year, holy shit, it's peak. And yes, it is number one of my movies so far. Remember, there's two other movies coming out soon, Sonic 3 and The Wild Robot, so that could be overtaken. But anyways, back onto 20th Century Studios, they've been releasing really good movies. And that could be a smidge good sign that these movies... Like, this movie in particular could be good. But again, I highly doubt it because I do not know where else they can go except for one plot. The return of Roshan from the first movie, aka the Ice Age baby everyone hated for some reason back in 2020. Uh, I think this could be a good idea, to be honest. 
because lots of fans actually did say it would be a really good sequel if they did this. Instead of random apocalypse stuff that happens like Ice Age 4 and 5. Fuck! Also, please more Scrat God jokes. Oh, that reminds me! Scrat! <laughs> of course, I need to talk about him. You know, because he's the funny meme guy on my channel. The one I make so many jokes about. The one that's on my new opening logo. The one that's everywhere on the channel. The one that's on the banner. Everywhere. And even on my emojis for my membership program. So, uh, what's the story with him? Okay, I need to say this. Disney will likely use him. But, if this is the last movie... If they're closing this franchise out that Blue Sky tried to do but couldn't, maybe the movie could end with that exact clip that Scrat eats the acorn? But what about the ending of Ice Age 1? I have a feeling he's gonna find another one and then that's gonna fall on the ice, he's gonna fall in the water, and he'll freeze, and 20 hundred thousand years later, he washes up onto the sea. And onto the beach. And sets the volcano up. That's how I think it's gonna end. So, yeah. Okay. So, if this is gonna continue the franchise, which I hope not, honestly, yeah, don't, don't bother putting Scrat in. Please don't. I don't wanna see him back. Like, I made this clear in my essay. If you people watched it, I clearly said I don't want Scrat to return. I want this clip in particular to be the final time we see Scrat. I said it at the end of the chapter. Literally, look at the video and you will see it. And, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to say this. Oh, yeah, uh, that probably didn't ha- Wow, the foreshadowing I just did. Holy cow. Wow, how unpredictable. Oh, boy, I can't wait for this. So, and then there's another thing I want to talk about, too. How will this look? How will this visually look? Well, if it is a theatrical release... That could actually be a good sign, because that could mean Disney could actually get DNEG to come for this movie. Like, they could work for this movie, dude. And you know what that would technically mean? Blue Sky would be making Ice Age 6. Now, why would I say that? Well, there's an actual reason. Because for you dumbos who don't know, DNEG currently were the savers of Nimona. Well, Annapurna did, but, you know, they bought the film rights, but they finished the animation. And reportedly, most Blue Sky Studios' former workers did go to DNEG. And actually, coincidentally enough, they're working on the Angry Birds Movie 3, so uh, that would be so peak if the same studio made Ice Age and Angry Birds. You know, that would make my brain explode. But yeah, I think the animation could actually be good for this one. Like, they could just realize, okay, so fans like good animation, according to Scrat Tales. They like the funny squirrel, according to Scrat Tales. They don't like stupid plots like in Buck Wild. Okay, that's how I'm hoping it all goes. Now, what about characters? Well, I have a feeling they're gonna bring back all the cast members. Because... John Leguizimo announced Ice Age 6, and since he did that, that kind of means we will be seeing Ray Romano, Dennis Leary, Queen Latifah, and all the other cast members return for this movie. Even the characters that weren't in the Avengers of Buck Wild, like Peaches, or um, uh, the, 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 the two idiots, Crash and Eddie, even though they were in the movie, will come back with Buck. Which, yes, I think if they were to bring back Crash and Eddie, they'd have to bring Book 2. So you get, of course, a crown, and you get a piece of crap with it. Because it comes with it. It's not sold separately. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem for Book fans. I'm sorry, Book fans. I'm really sorry. And then, of course, I also want to talk about something else, too. What would the plot even be about? Well, I did mention it earlier. I recommend the Roshan plan. 
But if I had to really guess what they're likely gonna go with, it's gonna be some sort of adventure. You know, the usual last two Ice Age movies and Continental Drift and Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Actually, no, all the sequels. They go on a wacky adventure to save the world. Or Sid's ass, I don't know. So it could either be one of those. Yeah, but I really recommend doing the Rochelle Pan. That would be really good. I think that could be a really good sequel. And yeah, so... It hasn't been officially confirmed by Disney. But it is happening. John Leguizamo said it himself. So that technically means it's happening. Oh yeah, for those asking, what about Baby Scrat and Scratte? Well, obviously because of popularity, Baby Scrat will likely return. Which means Kerry Walker will come back. But then comes my serious concern, which it probably won't happen. Will Disney replace Chris Wedge? I would be so mad if they did, unless of course they hired me, I'd go, Ah, oh, yay, I'm voicing Scrat. Haha, Chris, you get uh, nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. No, I wouldn't really do that. I was just joking about that. But seriously, just get his ass back, please. We need Chris Wedge. We need him. He's the Scrat. You cannot just leave him in the dark. Yes, he is working in a movie, Annapurna, which is pretty awesome, by the way. But please, if you are doing Scrat again, bring him back. We cannot have a Scratless Chris Wedge. Wait a minute, did I just say Scratless Chris Wedge? We don't need a Chris Wedgeless Scrat. We cannot have that in the movie. There's no way that should be legal. If they do it, oh, I'm gonna call the police and report to them. Yeah, officers, Disney recasted Chris Wedge and then they'd arrest Bob Iger and he'd be sentenced to life in prison. And Disney would go bankrupt and then every single studio would buy up the IPs they owned and Disney would be gone. Ah, what a reality that would be, which won't happen because, you know, they wouldn't care about it and I'd actually get arrested for wasting their time. But anyways, yeah, that's all I gotta say for Ice Age 6. Again, I really want some more information soon. Disney should announce it in a while. But yeah, we'll have to see. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. Make sure to join the memberships. Make sure you leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay good, guys.